Illusionarium takes us on an immersive journey through the evolution of magic as the world's most famous illusionists share their deepest secrets, including one Cameron Gibson who joins us on Morning Live. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. And I know you've been here, uh, well, since last fall, but welcome to Canada as well. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yes, you, you arrived in Canada like uh, smack dab in the middle of a pandemic. We're actually more fun outside of a pandemic. How do you quarantine a magician? Oh, it was tough. I actually arrived uh, about two weeks before we went into that really long extended uh, extended lockdown. And uh, and then when I got out of my quarantine, I was uh, I was here. And as soon as that happened, everything shut. So uh, I'm just starting to experience Canada a little bit more now. But, uh, but yeah, it's hard to keep a, a magician locked up for sure. <laughs> That's right. Well, we can't wait to experience Illusionarium. It's at the uh, Toronto Star Building, 1 Young Street. So this takes us through... As I mentioned, the evolution of magic, uh, some of the great eras. There's like, what, four themed rooms? Yes, yeah, so we have four themed rooms that take you through the uh, the history of magic all the way from the beginning of the uh, of, of modern magic in Paris, France, to the first live magic venue, and um, all the way up to what we believe the future of magic might look like. Um, and yeah, they're all they're all themes around certain eras of magic, from the age of TV magic to uh, to Victorian kind of classic magic as well. Do you have a favorite era? Um, I do. I really love the future of magic. I'm a bit of a kind of tech nerd myself. I've always loved science and technology. And uh, our final room, which, which is the future of magic, really brings the science and technology together with, with, uh, with magic to make an, an incredible kind of showstopper at the end of our, our experience. Okay, we won't have any spoiler alerts. I know we want to sell tickets, but can you give us an idea of what kind of technology we can expect to see in uh, the future of magic? Yeah, so I mean, immediately, actually, in our first room, you will uh, you'll see a live hologram of uh, of Houdini comes to explain a bit of the history of magic, which is an amazing piece of technology right off the bat. Um, and when you get to the end, we've got everything from uh, 180 degree LED screens uh, to lasers and uh, and an incredible light show, um, as well as uh, I think we've got something like. 200 sort of TV screens around the place that do various different magical things. Very cool. And I know you've worked with uh, Greg Fruin, who's a regular on this show, but nice to see that Illusionarium also honors uh, one of Canada's great magicians, uh, the late Doug Hanning, who we lost in 2000. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, a really rich history of, uh, of magic in Canada and uh, obviously especially in, in Ontario where we have uh, Doug Henning from, from Toronto and then uh, Greg Fruin out in Niagara. We have a whole display uh, just towards uh, Doug Henning. And we uh, even have a few bits and pieces of, uh, of Greg's as well, actually. We have the barrel that he went over Niagara Falls in about six months ago uh, on, dis on a nice display as if it looks like it's going over the falls, which, which looks great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, what's your specialty? So my specialty uh, when I'm performing on stage myself is what's known as mentalism or, uh, or psychological mind reading. So I take things like uh, psychology, magic, statistics, um, and bring it all together to make it seem like I can and predict behaviors and read people's minds. Yeah, there's a real art form to that, isn't there? No props, just the audience and... Yeah, that's, that's what I love about it. I think sometimes magic is, uh, I, I love all forms of magic, but magic for me is quite often about the, can be about the props and about the people on stage, but when I perform, I love it to be about the audience and about the, uh, the people that come to see the shows, and it makes every show interesting and, and completely different. Yeah. Now, did you always know you are going to be a magician, or did this come later in life? No, I actually studied, uh, I studied engineering um, at university, at the University of Glasgow, mechanical design engineering. And uh, because of that, I always had this love, love of knowing how things work and uh, the logical nature of things. And I saw a magic show when I was about 17 or 18 years old. Um, and uh, in fact, the magician was a British magician who now I believe lives in Toronto. I've not confirmed this yet. Uh -huh. um, but I just, I just had to know how it worked. You know, some people enjoy the magic. I didn't. I had to know how it worked. And I, I loved it so much that I, uh, I made a, a career out of it. So that explains why you're into the future of magic, because you're a, a tech yeah, nerd, I'm a, I'm as you mentioned. Yeah, I'm a nerd at heart, in, in all senses of the word. Yeah. So uh, your role, when we go visit Illusionarium, uh, we see you and other magicians? Yeah, so we have a cast of, uh, I believe, around about 30 uh, performers at the moment um, from various different backgrounds of, of magic and theater. And uh, depending when you go, you'll see a, a different person do, uh, do the shows slightly differently. Um, all the tricks tend to be the same, but everyone performs them in their own style and gets, their, uh, gets to show their character a little bit. And it's, uh, it's amazing to meet so many kind of interesting, creative people, especially for someone who's just moved here, uh, to get to work with all these, um, this amazing cast uh, right off the bat has been a real treat for me. 
Well, we're going to send many uh, morning live viewers your way. I'm sure they're very interested in checking out Illusionarium. So it goes to uh, August 29th. We'll hook up the website uh, at our website, chch.com, so people can get more ticket information. Thanks so much for sharing it with us, Cameron Gibson. No, Paul, Bob. Thank you for having me.